This is El Nino Desert Orchid. Now this is a really interesting hybrid between two native plants. One, the catalpa genus, which here in Louisiana we're all very familiar with catalpa trees. And then something from further out west, the desert willow, Chilopsis. Creating a hybrid out of plants from two different genera is often very difficult, but this is the result. This plant is going to be one of the most interesting new plant introductions we've seen in years. One, because it's a woody ornamental. Now I think this is going to be more of a large shrub, more less so than a small tree, and the reason why is it has multiple branches. These have only been in the ground though a few years, and look, it's already like eight, nine, ten feet tall. We expect it to top out maybe a little bit taller than that and four to six feet wide. It starts blooming in May with these beautiful pink to violet flowers and they're incredibly fragrant. They're also drawing in a lot of pollinators and that's something we love to have in our garden. Something else I love about this plant, look at these opposite arranged leaves. They're very architectural, almost like it was sculpted and I think that creates a really neat shape in the garden. Now the plant has reportedly been very deer resistant in trials in North Carolina and other states where the plant was actually developed. But here in Louisiana, we've only had it in the ground for a couple of years here at the Botanic Gardens and also the Hammond Research Station. And so far, no deer problems whatsoever. In addition to growing really fast and establishing quickly, they appear to be very drought tolerant and really able to take almost anything we can throw at them, even heavy rains. So this plant is probably gonna be very low maintenance once it's been established for a year or so in your garden. Forget it growing, I'm Jason Stagg with the LSU Ag Center.